All right, y'all. This debate came out a few days ago, but I couldn't help myself. I had to cover it. This is a real uh, battle of the minds here. They're, this is an idiot off. They're having an idiot competition. So it's Alex Jones versus Rabbi Shmuley. Um, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go from the most substantive parts of this discussion to the least substantive. That's gonna be the progression here. So at certain points, they go back and forth on Israel. That's where we're gonna start with. And then we'll take it from there. Uh, but just know, at some point, uh, we come along to accusations of butt plug wearing, nicknames like Rabbi Butt Plug. <laughs> there's, there's a lot going on in this clip, okay? Uh, and by the way, just for those of you who don't know, the reason Alex says that to Shmuley is because Rabbi Shmuley's daughter uh, owns a kosher sex shop. And they've made a point of like promoting it on all of the various shows and during the various interviews that Rabbi Shmuley does. They've done videos where it's just them two talking about the sex toys and how you should get them. And Very bizarre behavior for a father and a daughter to do, to say the least. Okay, so anyway, let's kick it off here. There are, it, it was not a calm debate, let's say, but that's to be expected. You accused Israel of genocide. Mr. Alex Jones, may I ask you to define genocide, please? The definition of genocide is trying to wipe out a ethnic or uh, religious or cultural group, and we have Netanyahu openly. Wait, 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 let me talk. It's still my time. No, 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 it's still my time. Um, you, you're clocking it to make sure that I don't overdo it. You have most of the time. Geno, geno, geno means ethnicity. Side means mass murder. It was coined by a great uh, Holocaust survivor, Raphael Lemkin, a great international jurist. 1947, the United States is a signatory to the Anti-Genocide Convention. In one week, there will be the 30th anniversary of the genocide of the Tutsis in Rwanda. There's been the genocide in Armenia, et cetera, et cetera. I'm a student of genocide. I'm close to President Kagame of Rwanda. He's the only one who stopped the genocide, et cetera. Okay, now. How could you accuse Israel of genocide if it's about killing an ethnicity? Israel has 1.9 million Arab citizens who live as equal citizens, in fact, even more equal than the Jews because they're not drafted to the army. They don't have to fight Hamas. Jewish soldiers fight to protect, protect two. The ultra-Orthodox are also not drafted to the army. Oh, this, what a ridiculous argument. Oh, my God. And it's about Palestinians. That's what it's about. Palestinians. They're not doing the genocide of Arabs more broadly or all Muslims. It's Palestinians is what's happening. And they're, like, it's the technical. I hate this fucking, like, super technical argument of, like, well, they haven't killed every single Gazan, so... Okay, so in your conception, if they killed 99.9% .9 of Gazans, is that not a genocide because they left 0.1% alive? Hitler didn't even successfully kill all the Jews! So is that not a genocide? Oh my... Uh... Uh, I gotta try to calm down. I gotta try to calm down. Let's keep going. A million Muslims who are, who are, who are um, Israeli citizens. If Israel was guilty of genocide, the first people they would have killed would, of course, be the Israeli Arabs, who, are, who live in total safety. Number two, we Jews seem to suck at genocide, Alex Jones, because it, uh, if we tried genocide and we took over Gaza in 1967, there were half a million Arabs. Now there's 1.5 million. So the population has tripled while we're guilty of genocide. It's like saying the Nazis committed genocide and we went from having 80 million Jews in Europe to having 54 million today. No, we don't. This is a literal argument that's used by Holocaust deniers. This is a Holocaust denier argument. We have 15 million Jews left in the whole world because they killed 6 million Jews. That's genocide. You lied about the Jews. It's a blood libel. Then you said that the IDF actually acknowledged videos where Israeli soldiers had a smile on their face and shot Arab children. This is a blood libel. It's no different. It is literally all this shit is on TikTok. All this shit is documented by the world's leading human rights organizations. You're not going to, uh, you know make claims of anti-Semitism to get your ass out of this reality, but that's what he's trying to do. What? Uh, okay, Owens, you have, you have dominated... Owens, Stop. I'm almost done, I'm almost done. Candace Owens <laughs> lost her job on Friday, fired by Ben Shapiro, because she liked a tweet that said, this rabbi, this rabbi drinks freaking Christian blood, which is disgusting and vile, and you are repeating the same lies. Now, be a man... That is... Let me be clear. I don't like Alex Jones. I despise Alex Jones. He's wrong about so many things. We have a long history of debunking a lot of his nonsense. Having said that, bringing up something Candace Owens did and then saying to Alex Jones, you are doing the same thing by what? Calling what Israel's doing in Gaza genocide? That is not the same thing. That is not the same thing. It's not even close. By the way, are there other instances in the past where Alex Jones was being anti-Semitic, I think there, ha there has been. In fact, go to uh, Secular Talk, type in Alex Jones, Brian Stelter. He did a really, like, disturbing video about Brian Stelter where it really does invoke a lot of the anti-Semitic tropes. And I'm, not, I'm no fan of Brian Stelter. 
but I'm just here to call balls and strikes. And if you're calling balls and strikes, the takeaway from those videos is kind of clear, right? Having said that, this is not Rabbi Shmuley's claim. That the thing you said about Brian Stelter and, you know, using stereotype X, Y, and Z, that is anti-Semitic. He's saying Candace Owens did this anti-Semitic thing, and, and you're also guilty of the exact same thing because on Twitter the other day you said what Israel's doing is a genocide. No, calling what Israel's doing a, a genocide is just accurate. That's just correct. Responsibility and say you're sorry. All right. Now, <laughs> I've been writing down the time here. You are. He's such a performative asshole, right? Shmuley's everything's so like performative and over the top. And all right, let's keep going. By the way, Alex Jones is being remarkably calm for Alex Jones standards. And I get the sense. I'm curious what you guys think. Post in the comment section below if you agree with me. But it really looks to me like he's off the sauce. Like, I know he was drinking heavily back in the day. Lord only knows what substances he was on. You can kind of see it in his eyes and the way he acts on air. He's still got a bunch of theories that are horrifically incorrect. Don't get me wrong. Um, but in terms of his demeanor, it looks like he's off the sauce. In, in the last 30 minutes, you are about six minutes ahead of me on time. So now, you stay there and don't interrupt. But, that, but, that's in, but that's in Jewish time. In Jewish time, it's only two minutes, by the way. you got to go by Jewish time. I know. Okay, just, now I who's just, the anti-Semite? Now who's I'm the anti-Semite? I'm trying to have a serious discussion with you, okay? Okay. It, 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 so just let me talk, okay? When I say that I don't want to be the Muslim's enemy or the Jew's enemy, that's not me having a moral problem and I'm this wimp who can't make a decision. I'm saying I'm not obsessed with Israel, even though I love history and have studied it, so it's very interesting. And I'm not against the Muslims. And I'm trying to sit here and say, I didn't like October 7th. I said it was wrong at the time. And I said they should kill the leaders of Hamas. But I said, if Israel goes into this trap and carpet bombs all of it, they will get most of Hamas, but it'll make them stronger in the end, which Trump has now said, and many other people that are smart have said, and that that is incredibly destructive and wrong. And then I see the countless videos of just wholesale shooting and bombing and blowing up groups of people, and you can't, and don't interrupt, you can't tell me that this is that this is strategic or, or this is precision. And in you say, well, we don't care, we've always been attacked, we don't care how this looks. I've never seen the whole world, I'd say 80% of people who've even been pro-Israel turn against Israel and I'm simply saying, I know Israel's a tiny country. I want it to be able to operate and live in peace. But this this, this is destroying not just the Palestinians, but I think we'll end up destroying Israel in the end. And then they're going to bring to Europe and the United States, who survives, all these pissed off Muslims. That is wrong. And then I'm sitting back looking at all of this and simply trying to stop this clash of civilizations that's happening. Like, I'm not pro-Russia. I'm not pro-Ukraine. But I'm against the whole war. And I'm trying to stop it. It's not a moral issue that I've not taken aside. I'm not Ukrainian. I'm not Russian. This is World War III. All the analysts admit it's it's escalating into full nuclear war. I like living and I want this to stop. And so there is definitely, in my view, a, a chutzpah uh, with the Christian Zionists and, and, and with some of the radical right-wing folks in Israel that simply think that people can say and do whatever they want. And, and, and it's well-documented that Rachel Corey gets run over by the bulldozer and people make jokes about it, or that there's videos. I mean, the, 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 this latest film got leaked out of the Israeli Defense Ministry of the, the drone missiles raining down on kids walking up, you know, the middle of a dirt road, uh, trying to go back to their house and, and they're being killed. And to say to Israel, you shouldn't hurt them all up to the sea and then start bombing them in Rafa. A, those are children. B, that looks bad. And you asked me the genocide question, and then you immediately interrupted because I had the definition. And yes, the Genocide Convention is 1947-48, directly off of a response to Hitler's final solution that was on record, that they were going to try to exterminate all the Jews. That is a fact. That happened. And so I see the Nazis denying Hitler ever did that. And then I see what's happening in Israel and what's happening in Gaza and this bombing campaign hurting everybody into this area and doing this and the world sees it as shooting fish in a barrel and sees it like Skynet with this, one of the most powerful militaries in the world for its size, one of the most high tech, probably the most high tech, nobody denies uh, that, that, that there's incredible technology and developments everywhere in Israel. No one denies Jews aren't smart. And we're watching this and it feels like we're watching Goliath sit there and and and, and basically rape David. It, it, it doesn't look good. And I'm gonna play you a video that you can respond. A, oh, hold on. Yeah. I only want three minutes, I get one more minute. Here's a video yesterday of a girl with her leg blown off in Rafa, a seven year old girl. And I'm telling you, I, I've heard uh, Benjamin Netanyahu, we can play the clip about Amalek invoking the Old Testament when groups were slaughtering each other. And actually, that was the time because they would do that too, saying you kill the women, the children, their animals, their men, they're all cursed, they're all evil, kill them all. He invokes that, and that's how they're bringing the war crimes charges and genocide crimes because he says it is an extermination. And I see the Israeli pundits everywhere, I could play hours of it here, saying we're going to wipe them all out because those kids are going to grow up 
uh, to, 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 to kill us. And it's like, you kill them, more Muslims come. They're having five, six kids apiece. So I can see where this leads. So here's a clip uh, of, uh, what was the clip I was going to play? Oh, I forget. There's so Oh, yeah, this is the girl with her leg blown off. And then I also want to play one more clip, and I'll give you like five minutes. A clip of Joan Rivers talking about Michelle Obama. So play them both back to back. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, <laughs> this is Joan Rivers talking about Michelle Obama. Okay, the reason he did that is because earlier in the conversation they were having the is Michelle Obama a man debate. But this, like, th that's why this, this debate is amazing. Because, like, talking about Israel, Alex Jones is, like, shockingly coherent and cogent. And making more reasonable points, but then on like everything else, Sandy Hook and Michelle Obama and uh, uh, Macron's wife, and it's like right back into Kookyville, and he sort of undermines the decent points he makes on the Israel portion with all that other stuff. But all right, let's watch a little bit more of this part. Again, I'm showing you right now. This is the most substantive part of this discussion. That's why I'm showing you right now. We're gonna get to the other ones in just a minute, so hang in there. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely heartbreaking. <laughs> Go to Joan Rivers. I, I wanted Joan Rivers, guys. Will you get me the Joan Rivers clip? I've asked like, I'm not Matt's crew, I've asked five times. Joan Rivers clip, I want that, because Joan Rivers said that Michelle Obama is a man, but that's a separate issue, we'll get to it in a minute. Okay, I just went for, I just went for five, uh, five minutes, I got my time back, go ahead. Yeah, but remember, five Jewish minutes is 20 minutes, I get 20 minutes now, Alice, correct? Is that because... Okay, can, you, can, you, can you laugh occasionally? Okay, anyway, <laughs> here we go, because this is, this is a serious issue. Uh, you brought up a lot of things. Number one, Alex Jones, let me be direct, unequivocal, and clear. Your disgusting comparison of what Israel's doing in Gaza to the Nazi Germany Holocaust is the very essence of anti-Semitism and the ultimate blood libel. Talk about a one-trick pony. Talk about all the things that were said. Anti-Semite blood libel. Anti-Semite blood libel. Anti-Semite blood libel. Like, what, what, what are we supposed to do with it? And, and I love how immediately it's the, the over-the-top, that did disgusting, disgusting. Okay, just from a, a, a human perspective, the way people interact, the way they communicate, it's almost like he's trying to be as ineffective as humanly possible on purpose. Nobody's going to like you. Nobody's going to agree with you. If you are so over the top and antagonistic and aggressive all the fucking time. God, it's amazing. It's amazing. Imagine Rabbi Shmoo. This is like when, remember when Kanye went on Alex Jones show and... Kanye made Alex Jones look sane and reasonable in response to, to him. We're sort of in a similar position here with Rabbi Shmuley. Like, you're making Alex Jones look really rational and calm. Okay, so now um, let's go to... Some, this is where a lot of it goes uh, off the rails here. Let's watch. I'm simply saying that all these governments get more power out of terror, more power out of crisis, more, more power out of insanity. Just like if we get hit by Hezbollah or Hamas, all these Islamics coming into the U.S., There'll be no discussion of who let them in. It'll all be just lose your rights. The border's wide open, but my balls, and like you talk about, my tiny pee-pee, uh, will then be fondled at the airport. So to me, I have a pro, you call me a white supremacist. I'm a human supremacist against the AI, against the New World Order, against the globalist, against the fentanyl, against the glyphosate, against the GMO, against the 5G. I don't look at it as Jew, Christian, Muslim, you know, uh, Palestinian. I look at it as people. I don't look at Xi Jinping and then hate the Chinese people. So that's where I am. And, and people will say, oh, Jones hosted this Zionist. He's with the Zionist. Or Jones hosted Kanye. He's with Hitler. Uh, when he was clearly having a mental breakdown. That is not. I'm really trying to have a large, very, very informative debate. We're going to break in a minute. Go ahead. Come on, Alex. These are just the most pathetic excuses. You're not a humanitarian. Cut the crap that uh, you're against globalism. You're against humanity itself. You defend... <laughs> of, all, of all the ways to go after Alex Jones, you're anti-human. It's like he's trying to lose debates on purpose and make everybody hate him. The murder of Jews, you blame what? the Jews for the racism. You're against humanity itself. You defend the murder of Jews. You blame the Jews for their own murder. You say that they're going to get terrible PR. You know, the one thing I do respect about you amidst your extremely checkered past and the disgrace you brought upon yourself by denying those 20 beautiful children and six educators who were murdered in Sandy Hook. The one thing I respected about you is that you went to court to fight to get custody of your children after a divorce. Let me ask you a question. 
What if someone had, God forbid, and I'm sorry to have to bring this up, come into your house in the middle of the night, forget about custody, and murdered your children, and beheaded your children, and burned your children alive. You're a pretty tough guy. What would you do? I would seek out people that did it. I wouldn't carpet bomb. What would you do? That's, a, that's actually a reasonable answer. He's like, I wouldn't carpet bomb. I'd go, the people who actually did it are the ones who need to face justice. I would get mad. What would you do? Nothing? Would you be afraid that your neighbors would condemn you? By Why are you yelling? Why are you yelling? Bring it down a couple notches. Man, would you talk about your freaking popularity? Would you worry about your social standing? No, you would protect your family. Stop telling us Jews that we have no right to protect ourselves. Nobody is saying you can't protect yourselves. My initial reaction after, after October 7th was, we all know where the Hamas leaders are. Some of them are in Turkey. Some of them are in Qatar. You think they didn't know about this highly technical and planned out terror attack on October 7th? Go round them up. Go round them up. They committed war crimes. Lock them up for life. All, like, let's go. Go about at the people who actually did it. That's what you're supposed to do. That's the answer he gives. And then, you know, uh, Shmuley's like, oh, you don't want Jews to be able to defend themselves. No, I don't want killing of 40,000 Palestinians, 36,000 of which are innocent civilians. I don't want f over 14,000 kids being murdered. And it's, it's know, he's so dishonest. All right, final one. Here we go. You just said that the Jewish people battle pornography. You're the guy on Howard Stern doing all this wild stuff. You're the guy in videos you release yourself. It looks like your grandson or some kid that you're table dancing on, grinding on him. You're grabbing, I think it's your granddaughter's or a little girl's breast. It's true. The stuff Alex is saying here about him uh, Shmuley releasing a video during a Jewish holidays, grinding on his like little grandson or whatever. It's true. I saw the videos. <laughs> he, watch, he's showing some of them right now. Kid that you're table dancing on, grinding on him. You're grabbing, I think it's your granddaughter's or a little girl's breast. You are, you're, you're talking about my penis on air and, and just now that my penis is small uh, and all the rest of this stuff. And you're sitting there, are a famous guy for, 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 you know, being, let, let's just say wild, I wasn't going to raise the fact that you got kosher dildos and butt plugs. I would ask her, are you wearing one now? And then you I'll tell me, <laughs> <laughs> you have a butt plug right now? All right. This is how I fully expected this entire debate to go. With it, this clip right here that you're watching, this is what I would have expected this entire debate to look like. To be fair, at parts, I was, I showed you the more substantive parts, right? But this, this is what, uh, it was inevitably going to become this. May I answer? Yeah, go ahead, Mr. Butt plug. May I answer? Okay. Do you have a model called the holiness? Well, are you going to interrupt me or can I answer? No, go ahead. You've you got fair time. No one will say I took over time. Go ahead. Okay, so, but don't interrupt me. You know, you spend your time fighting gay men and gay marriage and saying that they destroy the covenant of marriage. Last time I checked, this is not to be personal. You're bringing up butt plugs and all this other disgusting stuff. I didn't discuss your pee-pee. I said that you disgraced whatever you- I quote, I didn't discuss your pee-pee. <laughs> what the fuck? Politics, ladies and gentlemen. Politics about Michelle Obama. Who are you to say that she's a man? Stop the misogyny. Why do you hate women so damn much? I look, again, I have to say, it's like he's trying to be disliked by everybody. That, that's literally what it's like. It's like, you okay, it's not really pertinent to the, to the question, right? The whole Michelle Obama thing. But on the substance, of course, Shmuley is correct. Michelle Obama is not a fucking man. That's total terminal online brain worms down a conspiracy rabbit hole on Reddit, like ending up in goofy ass places, websites that'll give your computer a virus that are espousing these insane conspiracies. Like he's right, but he always has to go that one extra step, which then makes everybody go, even though he's right, Michelle Obama's not a man, still fuck this guy, <laughs> right? Like the, and that you hate all women. It's like, you could have just said the Michelle Obama part without going to that, that other part. And look, to be fair, it's not like Alex Jones. It's not like he was taking the high road in this particular part of the discussion. Because he calls him Rabbi Buttplug. <laughs> yeah, some of he's wearing a butt plug right then and there. Now, Alex says, well, that's in retaliation to Rabbi Shmuley talking about the size of his dick at some other time, right? But, you know, I wouldn't counter the juvenile, toddler-like insults with the same shit in the other direction. But here we are. The first lady of, of France saying that she has male genitalia. You guys have a sick obsession with people's genitals. And you tell me dancing <laughs> with my... With, you, wait, 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 no, no, no. You said you wouldn't interrupt me. You said you would not interrupt me. Then you you make fun of the fact that on Purim, I'm dancing with my my grandson and holding my granddaughter and your, your, pedo, your pedophile perverted... Mm. 
I, no, no, I'm sorry. Don't do this. Just like he did. Even Ben Shapiro looked at. Remember when he uh, when Shmuley responded to Candace Owens and put on the the like the stereotypical Jewish nose and wore a shirt that had like money on it and shit. And he was like, I'm Candace Owens Jew or whatever. Like even Ben Shapiro looked at that like, oh, this is not like, no, this is not a good look, bro. You're, you don't, you're not owning people. You're owning yourself here. And it's the same thing. Like, look, I'm a stepdad now. Never in a million years would I dream <laughs> grinding my ass on my children. <laughs> I don't care that it's your grandson or your granddaughter. Don't do that. Just don't do that. Now, am I saying all kinds of affection or off? No, of course, you can give them a hug. You can give them a kiss on the cheek. You can tell them you love them. Oh, that's totally normal and fine and acceptable and even good. But the, the, the lap dance, the, the, it's, uh, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't know. You guys tell me. Am I going too far? Bane goes to holding my granddaughter as a form. Come on. How much hatred do you have of Jews that you have to go that low? You know those dolls where you pull the string on the back and it repeats the same phrases over and over again? That's him. But the, the sad thing about you is, is that you're not a stupid vet. You're actually very smart. But as soon as... But I don't know about that, homie. You're so defensive. You're so insecure that in order to protect yourself, you already hit below the belt. So let me repeat. <laughs> I am proud yeah. of... Yeah, Shmuley accusing somebody else of, uh, you are, you're always hitting below the belt, bro. That's what you're doing. I, I don't, I don't do that. I never do that, bro. Every debate I go on, I immediately start yelling at people and calling them all sorts of names. I don't do that. I'm above the fray, dog. Any novelty items that we sell that some married couples need in order not to get divorced. I do believe you sell butt plugs. <laughs> and my, you go, you're the one talking about disgusting butt plugs. You're the one that shot a video showing a witch's nose saying it's my penis and putting it out to millions of people. You're the one that sells butt plugs and then I'm disgusting to ask about the butt plugs. Here, I'll give you more time. Tell me. Your disgusting down. obsession with butt plugs. God almighty, is that really what's on your mind, uh, butt plugs? Uh, uh, you're the one on TV talking about my penis to 5 million no, people. No, no, no. I said that when you degraded Michelle Obama by saying that she had a bulge, I said, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Stop degrading women. It's misogyny. It's, what? You don't like Michelle Obama's policy's fine, but you, you believe she's a man, honestly? Well, Joan Rivers thought that, but we're about to go to break. Stay right there. Do you there. believe she's a man? Do you believe that Michelle Obama's a man? No, I, I, I just believe that she's got. Why don't you apologize to her right here and now? I believe apologize she has bigger her. shoulders than an NFL linebacker. But just, but just apologize to her for your disgusting racism and misogyny. Oh, I need to apologize and be sad. No, I think she is a man. You have to apologize. And I think, and I think Macron's pedophile wife is a pedophile. I think the president of France's wife is a pedophile on record when he was fourteen. It's on record. Oh, so you're for teachers? But is she a man? Is she a man? All right, I think we can wrap it up here. This way. <sighs> Alex manages to, like, think absolutely everything is a conspiracy theory, and then he puts himself in these corners where it's like, really, this is the hill you're going to die on, that Michelle Obama's a man? Is that what you're going to do? And Candace, of course, the other day had the famous uh, Macron's wife is actually a man. It's like, first of all, it's not true. Second of all, even if it was true, whoop de freaking do bro. <laughs> Literally nothing would hinge on that. Nothing at all. It would change absolutely dick. <laughs> like, well, what are we doing here? What are we doing? Anyway, I would tell you to go watch the entire debate, but don't. You'll lose brain cells. I certainly lost brain cells. I just wanted to sum it up for you in these videos. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. Um, who, who was the loser? Or are we all losers for watching it? Hey y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.